I'm, I'm really in favour of someone like uh, Mineral Resources, who has who have uh, obviously iron ore as their major uh, product, but um, also have uh, hard rock lithium that they're they're producing um, and doing quite well out of. We've seen prices rise about 100% since the end of last year. Uh, then we got Aura Cobra and Galaxy looking to merge, which should pre uh, make the world's I think it's the fourth or fifth larger lithium largest lithium miner and producer um, with about 40,000 tonnes of LCE capacity, which is quite large. And within a few years, that, that could move up towards 100,000. Um, um, and uh, we saw with uh, Aura Cobra's uh, quarterly, I think it was last week, um, they've seen a 45% lift in prices themselves. Now, we're going to be careful with Aura Cobra because they do, um, do sell and produce a lot of non-battery grade lithium. So lithium that's just used out in the industrial for industrial uses, um, which gets a much, much, much lower price. So we've got to be careful there. But 66% of what they sold was battery grade lithium, and that, that helped prices lift by 45%. Yeah, but lithium, we need more of it. Um, it looks like there's going to be a deficit up until about 2024 or 2025, according to Macquarie and uh, JP Morgan, et cetera. So, um, yeah, it's in a favourable position.